Fighter Shell, we're here with Javante Starks, my homie. Bro, what's good? Man, everything's smooth, man. Just out here enjoying the fights right now, man. Kicking back, getting ready for next weekend. Okay, now tell us about next weekend. I heard it's a pretty big deal. What's going on? Yeah, man, we headlining NBC Sports Network, man. Fighting an undefeated fighter. Uh, Darwin Price, 10 0, five knockouts. Uh, man, main event, like I said, live on TV. Getting ready for the show. So, bro, you got one loss on your legend, and it was a controversial loss. You one of the most probably avoided fighters at 47. Now, a lot of people may not know about Javante Starr. They're going to find out next week. But just give us a little bit of insight about your journey, man, and, and how things have affected you on, on your road to this, uh, to this fight coming up next week. Man, uh, like I said, I've been going through a whole lot, man. Different management problems, you know, different things that I've been trying to avoid as far as uh, coaching staffs and, and getting settled on the spot. I found a home here in Winter Haven, Florida, working with Tony Morgan. Uh, for the last three fights, everything been picking up pretty good. My last fight, like you said, was controversial loss, very close decision that I didn't get. Um, however, man, we've been moving forward, training hard. Um, I got offered a fight at 142 pounds against, like I say, Darwin Price, um, another good athletic guy. Um, I think it's a, a good a good chance for a good victory. So we, we went on ahead and agreed to the fight. And, man, we just been down here putting in good work, training hard, man. The main focus was really making sure that we can make 142 pounds, which we can easily. Um, we've just been doing a lot of strength and conditioning work, making sure we stay uh, within our bounds as far as our meals and uh, getting good rest, man, and, and mentally being right for the fight, man. Other than that, nothing's changed. The skills are the same. The game plan is the same. And we're going to come out with the same outcome as every other fight, which is a win. Give, give, give your followers and give the people that watch these interviews a little bit of insight about Javante Starks because you're not just a fighter. You're a very insightful dude. You understand the business of boxing. You understand how these things work. So if you could uh, just give us a little bit of insight for the young fighters coming up uh, that may not know about some of the pitfalls that they can encounter in this sport. Man, uh, I think a lot of guys, you know, come into situations thinking that the best and the only opportunity to make it big is to sign with a major company, promotional management, or whatever the case may be. If you are a local guy and you are selling tickets and you can build up a record without having to take serious chances, sometimes those are the best roads and some of the best routes to take. Um, you know, when you get into a management deal, I believe a lot of people do not understand that once you do sign those contracts, you are pretty much in a situation where you get what they give you and you have to take what the options are given. And uh, when, you're, when you're independent or not signed, you can actually have options. You can fight in different places, different venues, under different promoters, different managers. And those were a lot of the things that I encountered when I was trying to get a deal and lock myself into a deal. I found myself wanting to fight on certain channels against certain opponents and certain guys that I thought would be a good look for me, which didn't collide with what the, the, the management side of it wanted to do because they might not have worked with this company or wanted to work with this guy. And when you talk about money, which is the main breakdown of everything, it's not about a winning record or a good outlook on who the fighter is. It's, it's a strong standpoint that's, that's based upon who can bring in dollars, who's worth the most dollars, and what show is worth the most money. And when you start to understand that, you'll start investing in yourself and making sure that you can show people that people want to come to see you fight, which means you can put butts in seats. You can have people tune in to you, which you really don't necessarily need a manager or a promoter. You know, a promoter and a manager takes away a lot of your own decisions, a lot of your own options, and, and it limits you to what you want to do. So not saying that a management deal is necessarily bad for everybody, but it's not good for everybody either. And, and, and you know, some of the situations you put yourself in when you sign, you have to deal with some of them, and you'll be forced to do some of the things that you don't want to do. You know, me, myself, um, I am a celebrated amateur, national champion, um, Olympic team member. Um, so I, I pretty much have no problem fighting whoever. Sometimes I might not feel it's the fight that I want at that particular time. But like I say, when you're in a deal, you have to deal with the options that you're given. And with some of the options that I've been given, I've tried to make the best decision that I can make with the options that I've been given. Absolutely. Now on another side of the game, you're not originally from Florida. But you done been here for a while, so we kind of have adopted you down here in Florida, man. 
Can you tell us about some things you learned or picked up here about the Florida fight scene and just let the rest of the world know that Florida does have a presence here? Oh man, Florida is one of the best cities and best places to, 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 to build a, a, a following in. Um, very good Latino crowd, big following of Latino fighters. Um, and, and, and you just have a lot of Latino support. Um, one of the biggest fan bases in the game is Latino uh, fan base. And, uh, you know, I'm just down here enjoying the weather, man. I like the city. I like the girls. I like the boxing scene. You know, uh, like I said, you have a variety of fighters down here. Latino, black, Haitian, Puerto Rican, Cuban, um, white, whatever they are. You have them all down here, and they all train hard. You got celebrities. You got superstars down here. You got champion fighters. You know what I mean? You got up-and-coming fighters down here, which you don't have in every city. And it's something that I'm embracing, something that I love, that I love to be a part of. Of is something that I'm getting love shown towards my way being an up and coming fighter. Oh, absolutely. I ain't gonna hold you up to something as you get back to some of these fights, man, real quick. Let everybody know how they keep up with you on social media, brother. Man, Facebook, I'm under Tay Stark, so www.facebook.com backslash Tay Starks is the uh, page. I am Javante Starks on Instagram is my Instagram and Javante Starks on Twitter is how you follow me, man. For those who don't want to know, for those who want to know how to spell my name, J A V O N T A E Starks S T A R K S, man. Check me out, follow along, man. Get some of these updates and follow me on NBC Sports next Saturday. Absolutely, man. Well, it's been a pleasure and honor to get you on camera, man. We look forward to seeing you, man, and good luck next week, brother. Man, appreciate you.